Hey, what's going on guys? It is Last Year and welcome to a very quick video today. It's basically going to be a squad builder around the godly man of the match, Hyung Min Sun. First off, if you guys are looking for any ultimate team coins, check out the fifashop.co.uk. Use my code LA5TY. That'll get you a 10% discount. And the link you need is down below in the description. So I've got a really cool squad for you today. And it played very, very well in the few games that I played with it. We've got Rufier in goal. You could possibly use his inform if you wanted to spend the 20k that it costs. But I don't personally see any difference. And goalkeepers are so poor on this game that I don't see any point in getting like an upgraded version because they're not going to do any better. Let's face it. Uh, our defence today looks a little bit like this. It's very quick. Uh, we've got Clichy at left back who is 80 rated but he's got the 85 pace and 80 defending is what you really want to see. He's overpowered. Everyone knows it. He's a very good left back. We've then got Mariano a little bit of silver going into the squad right now. He has also got 85 pace and very decent stats across the board especially for a silver. He gets up and down the pitch quite nicely. We've then got Mangala as our left centre back who is pretty damn overpowered, I've got to say. He's got high, high work rate, so he does get up the pitch, but he does make sure he gets back as well, which is good. And then we've got one of the best defenders in the game. 89 rated team of the year, David Luiz. He's got 84 pace, 90 defending, and 87 physical. This guy is just OP as fuck. He's so, so good. It's ridiculous. Moving on to the midfield, we've got three very sturdy players. We've got Sven Bender as our central midfielder. Like, he holds things down. I, I set player instructions on this team, and he's the one which definitely stays back. Hernanez gets forward a little bit. Actually, I think I set Hernanez to do balanced attack. He's actually got some pretty decent stats, and he could defend for you guys as well. And then Gundogan is like my free roam player. He can move about the pitch and all that good stuff, and he's very, very good on this game. Hernanez, by the way, top quality player. And then this is the strike force of dreams. We've got our ourselves a little bit of transferred Jordan Shaq. Kiri, who as you can see by the stats doesn't really look like he does much, but of course I was trying to get the ball over to the left hand side of the pitch most of the time uh, for Man of the Match Sun to get onto it. We've then got inform Joseph Dermic, who's actually a really fun player to use. Um, I would have completely overlooked him if it wasn't for needing like a, a chemistry link there for Man of the Match Sun, uh, and he's... He's top quality, trust me. And then the main man of the episode, Hyun Min Son, is ridiculous. I love him. He's got 87 pace, 79 dribbling, 83 shooting. Uh, he's got the five-star weak foot, of course. He's left-footed and he's six foot tall, which is actually pretty damn good. This squad in total will cost you around 900,000 coins. If you want it to cost you like 250, you're just going to need to replace uh, Team of the Year David, um, David Luiz even with his normal version. Simple as that. And you can get a lot of the, ch the chunk of change that this squad costs get it down to about a quarter of a million coins we start things off with a couple of goals from Dermich please tell me if I'm pronouncing that right or wrong in the comments because that's how it looks like it's spelled a lovely finish here by the way boom I was not expecting that goal to go in right there a really solid goal uh, I just played it to him and just hit it first time and those typically don't go in on FIFA 15 they really don't then we got a goal here from Hernanes again another one that I wasn't expecting to score because I hit it on a very strange angle and it just flies into the back of the net and when you see the replay it's got a lot of curve a lot of power behind it it's a very very decent strike and that is a nice goal. But the main man of the episode, Hyun Min Son, is unstoppable. I absolutely loved him. I wasn't expecting to because he's only like a 78 rated card. He's not the greatest thing on the planet. But he is just unbelievable. Now... The, the couple of things to note about him. He's got the three-star skills, so he's not going to be tearing things away like someone like Marco Royce because he can cut inside with a chop or all of this good stuff. You're basically going to be relying on his 87 pace and a lot of just straightforward sprinting, which works because he can do it. Trust me. Look at this for a header, by the way. Ridiculous on the edge of the box. What a header, son. My son. <laughs> I didn't even realize I was going to do that. Um, but... He's left-footed with the five-star weak foot. And I've, one thing I noticed is that he is so reluctant to actually hit it on his right foot. I was in plenty of space a lot of the times to hit it on his five-star weak foot. And he really basically just hit it with the outside of his left, which is just as strong as his right. Obviously, you know, he has the five-star weak foot. But look, right there, I was expecting a five-star weak foot shot. But he just hits it with his left. 
Um, which I'm fine with, because if the ball goes in the back of the net, I don't care how you score it. Um, but he doesn't really utilise that five-star weak foot. I've got to say, he's one of the most fun players I've used so far in the game, just because I wasn't expecting it to be so amazing. Um, you can pick him up for around 200k, probably less than that. Um, but don't forget, he's now out of packs, therefore, or he's going to be out of packs shortly. Therefore, he's going to become rarer and his price will probably go up. If you've enjoyed the video, guys, please don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Leave your comments below and I'll catch you next time. Peace.